welcome back. Today is the first Christmas tutorial of the month. If you didn't already know, I am doing four Christmas tutorials, different makeup tutorials this month, one per week in the month of December. I'm really excited about this makeup. I bought this glitter particularly for this look and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It is a rose gold glitter halo eye. I used the Violet Voss glitter in Rosalind for the first time and also her glitter glue, which I find is really, really good. I've used that before, but I just haven't used this particular shade of glitter before. I think that the Violet Voss glitters are really good value. Um, a lot of glitters are very expensive and I didn't want to spend loads on something because I haven't really used glitters before and I didn't know how they would work on me or I didn't know if I would really use them that much, etc. So I didn't want to fork out loads of money at first. Violet Voss is cruelty free and very affordable and her products are really, really good. So I definitely recommend that. Oh, I haven't sprayed my face. Yeah, I'm, oh, I just breathed it all in. <coughs> I'm hoping my camera isn't gonna run out of battery. It took me a whole camera battery to film this look because the eye look does take a while, but I hope that this is something that you feel like you could recreate. Um, all you really need is the glitter. Everything else is just using normal makeup products, normal eyeshadow. I think this would be an excellent New Year's Eve makeup look or for a Christmas party or for Christmas Day if you want to go all out there. I tend to not really wear much makeup on Christmas Day, but for Christmas parties and New Year's Eve, I love to like pile on the glitter. Last year it was kind of foiled shadows and this year I'm going all out. I've bought glitter. So yeah, let's get into the video so you can see how I created this look. Okay, so I'm going to be starting by priming my eyes. I'm using the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Creme de Nude for this, patting it all over my eyelid and then blending it out with a fluffy Real Techniques setting brush. I do try to only use cruelty free products and Maybelline is not a cruelty free brand, but basically I'm only buying cruelty free products from now on. But if I don't have an alternative option, which is cruelty free, I will just use what I have. And eye primers, I only have one eye primer and it's the Maybelline one. So until I get a cruelty free one, I will still be using it, but I'm not buying any cruelty free products from now on. I just wanted to kind of clear that up because people might be a bit confused, like, oh yeah, she preaches cruelty free, but then she uses Maybelline. Like, So with that ramble being said, I also did set my eye primer just with my face powder that I use, and then let's start on the eyes. So I'm starting with creme brulee and putting that through the crease, taking it up very high to keep it very soft, blended. You guys know the drill and then blending it out with a clean fluffy brush, although my brushes do definitely need washing. So I just washed them yesterday actually, So, but when I filmed this video, they really, really needed a wash. So really none of my brushes were that clean. And then because this is a halo smoky eye, I am applying that same creme brulee shade by Makeup Geek right into the inner corner. And then I'm kind of using my blending brush to join it up and then going again and blending it all out with the big fluffy brush. So that will give this kind of halo effect, which means that we have darker eyeshadow on the inner corner and the outer co corner, and then a lighter shade right in the middle. And overall, it gives this very like rounded eye appearance. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek Cosmopolitan because I wanted something to just put in the center of the lid, which was kind of a rose gold shade, um, kind of similar-ish to the glitter that we're gonna be using, but I would say it's more of a bronzy shade, just to kind of lay down an eyeshadow underneath the glitter so we're not just sticking the glitter straight onto like my skin or straight onto the eye primer. And it also gives me a kind of guideline so I can see where the glitter is going to go because I can just put it right on top of that sparkly shade because all the other eyeshadows I'm using are matte. So then I'm taking Makeup Geek Bitten, which is a gorgeous purpley shade. I really wanted to keep this quite purple and warm on the halo bit because the rose gold is obviously gonna complement purple or rosy toned shades. So I'm using Makeup Geek Bitten on a very, very small blending brush. And because this is such a dark shade, I'm going in very small little bits, just applying it very low down on the outer corner of my eye there. 
and not really taking it up in the crease I'm taking it much lower than the original creme brulee shade we used and then I'm also putting it on the inner corner as you can see to create this halo eye effect and it does take a little bit of building up as I say this eye look took me a long time I had an hour of footage so the whole makeup look with my face and everything um, not just the eye look took an hour in total so it is a long time there's a lot of going back and forth blending everything out I'm taking the creme brulee shade back on the same brush that I used first and just blending that all together with the Makeup Geek Bitten shade just to make sure that everything is seamless and it all looks kind of like one movement rather than being like stripes of colour on the inside and outside of your eye. Whatever is left of me will keep you closer to me. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. This is a gorgeous warm rusty brown shade with a little bit of a purpley red tinge in it. So it complements Makeup Geek Bitten really really well and also Creme Brulee because Creme Brulee has a little bit of red in it as well. Again, not taking it up high through my crease but taking the Creme Brulee shade back on my blending brush just to blend everything together. So this brush is not clean, it does have the creme brulee shade on it and it's just blending all the colours together. Then I'm using the Violet Voss Glitter Glue. I love this glitter glue because it comes in a kind of concealer shaped packaging so you can literally just pat it straight onto your eye or wherever you want to put the glitter from the tube. You don't have to put it onto a brush, super handy and it's really good glitter glue very strong this is the beautiful glitter I'm going to be using it is Violet Voss's again glitter it's the shade Rosalind I did try to apply it over the glitter glue obviously with my finger at first but I didn't really like the payoff that that was giving because a lot of it was coming off on my finger and I didn't think much of it was actually going on my eyelid so I actually took this eco tools smudger brush and it's like um, for smudging eyeliner so it's really thick and really dense and really short and it's sh it's like thicker than a regular eyeliner brush so it packs on the glitter really really well so I recommend using a very small dense eye brush if you have one to apply the glitter with it doesn't really notice on camera but in real life it looked very odd at first because it was like because it's a halo eye and it's just in the center of the lid it was basically not blended with any of the eyeshadow because the glitter is like stuck on top of the eyeshadow it took quite a while to blend everything out and make it appear seamless and kind of like it's part of the eyeshadow so first of all I took some of the glitter off with my finger just to take some of the excess off so there's not so much piled on top of the eyeshadow and then I went back in with the cosmopolitan shade and kind of tried to clean up the edges as you will see me doing and then I also went in with the bitten and cocoa bear and just kind of blended everything together this did take me a little bit of work it was a little bit hard so you will get a lot of fallout with glitter of course it is just part of the course so that's why I did my eye before doing my base and then I'm just removing any glitter that fell down with a makeup remover wipe and then I'm taking this makeup geek eyeshadow in the shade mirage just to clean up the top of my brow bone because it can all get a bit muddy with that creme brulee shade because I'm taking it so high up. Then I am taking my Pure Radiance Primer. I can never remember the actual name of this, <laughs> sorry about that. And then I'm taking my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Mont Blanc. This is my all-time favorite foundation. I have to say it is fantastic. It's really full coverage, but still um, is kind of like your skin but better in terms of the formulation it's not matte but it's also not really dewy it just makes your skin look radiant and glowing but it does dry down so it's not like tacky to touch as long as you set it so I absolutely love this foundation and I'm blending it in with my morphe m439 brush which as I say all my brushes really needed washing so I do go in and blend it out with my real techniques makeup sponge afterwards just to make sure everything is blended and nice looking.
then I am using my NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector in the shade Light, which is orange toned and is gonna just counteract any blueness under my eyes. I always, always, always take this step. And then I am using a new concealer today. I bought the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Porcelain. I know a lot of people say that they find it too dry to use under their eyes. I have to say I have not had an issue, but I am very, very dedicated with applying my eye cream morning and night and I apply it quite generously as well because I've had really bad issues with dry itchy under eyes when I've had like reactions to mascaras so I'm quite like paranoid about that so I will really make sure that I apply my eye cream and obviously I do apply concealer right after doing my skincare routine or I apply my makeup right after doing my skincare routine so I haven't had an issue with it being too dry for my under eyes it is drier than the Urban Decay concealer but it works fine it's like five pounds and it's cruelty free really good recommend highly then I am setting my whole face with the Kiko wet to dry powder foundation and just pressing this all over my face to make sure that my foundation is gonna stay put all day then I'm gonna define my under eye I'm taking that makeup geek bitten shade putting it again in the inner and outer corner and then I'm taking the Cosmopolitan shade and putting it in the middle to try and bring a little bit of light to it. But I didn't feel like it was enough. So I did blend it out with the Creme Brulee shade. And then I went in with the Violet Voss Rosalind glitter in the middle of the lower lash line just to give it that extra pop and give it a bit more light and mirror the top lid, halo eye to the bottom. Oh, I did also tight line my lower waterline with the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in the shade Brown. Whatever is left of me will keep you closer to me. Then I am bronzing up the face with my Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer, applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, my chin, my nose, and basically just all over my face <laughs> um, to really bronze everything up because when you have such a strong eye look, you need to go strong everywhere else on the face. So I'm applying it quite liberally. And then for blush, I use the Milani Bake Blush in the shade Luminoso. Again, this is kind of a rose goldy toned blush. So I did apply it quite liberally because I found when I applied this, my whole face kind of came to life because it tied in with the rose gold on my eyes. Then I'm using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect Pressed in Moonstone for highlight today. Applying that to the tops of my cheekbones and my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin and my forehead and just putting it on over and over again because I love highlight. Also applying that same Becca Moonstone to my inner corner and my brow bone as well. Then I'm doing my brows and using a new brow product today. Can you believe it? This is the LA Girl Brow Pencil. I'm not sure of the exact name, but I will have it linked below. And this is in the shade Taupe. I wanted to try it as an alternative to my Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pencil because I know that that is very hard for you to get hold of in the US. I wanted to try this LA Girl one when I saw that they had come out with it. I believe it's fairly new product. It's around the five pound mark to buy. It's really nice consistency. It's the perfect shade. I just picked the shade online going from kind of what I thought would be the same as the Soap and Glory one and it's great shade for me. Then I'm tight lining my upper waterline and curling my lashes and I am using my Maybelline Rocket Mascara in waterproof because again I would rather not use Maybelline but I don't have a better mascara unfortunately. This is the best mascara I have. Then I am lining my lips with the Gosh Lip Liner in the shade Angel Kiss 
and using the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Kim KW. I was just going to leave it at that but I felt like the lips were a bit kind of flat and I wanted to bring a bit more dimension to them so I added a gloss. I added the NYX Mega Shine gloss in the shade Sugar Pie and I think it does make a big difference but I didn't want to bring too much attention to the lips so I kept them very light because we've got so much going on on the eyes. So that is it for this Christmas rose gold glitter makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it and you feel like you can recreate it. Obviously it does take a bit more work than just a regular easy smoky eye. I think that the outcome for a special occasion is so worth it. I absolutely love how this turned out. So I really hope you guys liked it too. Thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and leave a comment below with any other makeup tutorials you want to see. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.